Conjure of GVGINU. Thank you once again for listening in, giving me your time and your ear, and hearing another Zelda game I did <laughs> work on the Wii U. Yeah, this is the third one in a row. Don't worry, the next one won't be Zelda related at all, I promise you. <laughs> this one, I, I think, actually probably wouldn't be that hard to do or take very long. To be honest, I mean, not initially anyway, um, <clears throat> and that's firstly to take The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D and port it to the Wii U, and as well as taking The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D and porting that to the Wii U. And there's going to be someone who's going to say, well, why should they do this when they already have Ocarina of Time on the virtual console? I know that question's coming. And I have a thought that would work for that. If you'd want to hear it out, at least. Now, <clears throat> personally, it doesn't bother me that it's not on the console, and I don't actually see it coming to the console. But... It is possible that it could be done, obviously. <laughs> um, <clears throat> there are a lot of people who prefer the smoother feeling gameplay on the 3DS versions of Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. And I'm not knocking them for that. That's perfectly fine. But what they could do, instead of simply just porting that up to the Wii U and obviously expanding your viewable area and up resing the textures and the, the character models what they could do as well as that is, is allow you to choose which style that you want to play like um, for, for example when you start your game give you the opportunity to choose whether or not you want to start your game in the 64 format, the N64 format, or if you want to play it in the Nintendo 3DS format. That way you have a choice as to how you want to experience the game. Whereas if you pick the N64 format, you'll get the Nintendo 64 visuals and that play style with the pause delay and be having to utilize your um, inventory system in the same manner as the Nintendo 64. Then on the other hand, when you pick the 3DS format, you'll get the higher resolution graphics, the smoother frame rate, the quick change inventory system, as well as not necessarily having to worry about the pause delay. Is is very much. And I think that would work. Along with this, though, I, uh, there's two things, and I, I'm, I know this is probably not going to sound like I'm being very supportive of Nintendo when I say this, but <clears throat> what they could do is also implement a bit of a payback policy with this particular game if they were to do it. Say someone bought the uh, N64 Legend of Zelda on the Wii U Virtual Console. If they bought Ocarina of Time on the Virtual Console. Okay. And they go ahead and purchase this game. They boot it up. Whether they buy it physical or digitally. They boot this game up. <clears throat> and they go to play it. They get a message from Nintendo. Since you have purchased The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. On the Virtual Console you will get, let's say, like 10 bucks back in eShop credit. And, bonus, if you have Ocarina of Time 3D on the 3DS, because it's not like it's not linked to your, your Nintendo <clears throat> ID, your Nintendo Network ID, you get 5 bucks back. And yes, I understand the Ocarina of Time 3D on the 3DS is more expensive. But that was put out on the 3DS more recently. Well, you know what? Let's just say five bucks for each of them. 
Just cut it up. Five bucks for each. That way, it's fair. You get five bucks back if you bought Ocarina of Time for the N64 Virtual Console, and another five if you bought Ocarina of Time 3D on the 3DS. Because you, both of those concepts would be merged into this game, and you wouldn't want people who might actually want to get it to feel alienated because they already bought the other versions of the game or bought a different version of the game. And like, well, I don't, I don't want to get that one. Like, I don't want to get that one because it's still the same game. I, 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 I want the, the, the option, but I don't want to get that and not get something back. And that's how people would look at it. I know people would look at it that way. And that, and that would be for either Ocarina of Time or... Or Majora's Mask. Well, Majora's Mask has only come out on the uh, Nintendo 3DS as of recent. I don't... There isn't um, Majora's Mask on the N64 Virtual Console for the Wii U. So you only get five for that one. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, the other thing that could be done is implementing... The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest. Implementing that into Ocarina of Time 3D on the 3DS. As well as this, this Wii U version that I have fathomed up out of nowhere. <laughs> Implement it for both of those. And allow that to be played in both the N64 style and the 3DS style. Um, but for... The Wii U, it would have to, I would say, it, it would have to be kind of included in the package. Whereas the 3DS, you don't have that opportunity, that option, so it would make it like a $5 download for the 3DS to be able to play the Master Quest version with that feel. Really, that's not, <coughs> it wouldn't be a bad idea. And then that, that five bucks that somebody got back could literally just go to that. And they would be happy with it. See, I, I, I think in ways to make stuff enter work, usually. And there you go. Granted, I know Nintendo's not taking like outside ideas. That's fine. But it might be something that they may do later on down the line. Or... Hey, if they are looking for ideas, guess who's putting them out everywhere? <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's really it. Thank you very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more of my stuff. Until the next time, enjoy your games.